So you want to get the most out of Power Query, but you don't know how to code? Well, that's where ChatGPT steps in. I'm going to show you how to get all the Power Query code you ever wanted with just one prompt. Check this out. This code is what we're going to feed into ChatGPT to teach it all about our Power Query. So now I'm over here in a ChatGPT window, nothing fancy. I do have a pro version active, but everything we're gonna do today, you can do on the free version. You just have less prompts in a day, but all of these are the publicly available free models you can use. Just because I'm using a pro mode, it's not gonna change the output. All of this will work whether you're on a free plan or a paid plan. Also, this will broadly work across Claude, Copilot, any of the other tools. I just get the best outputs for me personally from ChatGPT. I have the most history and memory stored in here. Feel free to try this in the other tools and you should get very similar results. All right, so here I've pasted in a prompt, act as a coding expert, tell it how you want it to behave. I need your help writing M code for Power Query to transform data. Tell it what goal you want to accomplish. Here is the current code. This is where we're gonna paste in our M. So this is what we copied from Power Query. This is going to train it on kind of how the file is currently structured. Give a little space there. And then I'm going to say, do the following transformations in order. Now here, I'm just going to have one to get us started, but you can put as many here as you want and it will write the code out. So in this case, I want to add a column giving a numeric month number based on the column, based on the month in column month. So if I come back over to Power Query, right, you'll see that I only have the month and I want to have a number that I can work with. So let's see what we can get out of ChatGPT to help us with that. We'll send this away and see what we get back. All right, ChatGPT is processing and it's writing our updated M code here. As soon as it's done, we'll be able to just copy this straight over. All right, it is all done. It gave us some explanations. We'll copy this code, go back into the advanced editor. We can overwrite all of the code and then simply close it and that's going to run for us. All right, now you'll see it has a step called added month number based on the month column. So once we clicked our advanced editor, it added a new one. Let's see if this is correct. Yep, January 1, we'll come down and check like April 4, yes. So it was able to perfectly add our month number